Hello and welcome to another DaddyJamesFilms.webs.com video tutorial. Okay, um, your computer got a virus, a major virus, and the best way to do is just reformat your hard drive and reinstall Windows. Or if you plan on upgrading to like another operating system like Vista, I don't know why, or uh, Windows 7. Uh, if you decide to do that and you want to back up some of your drivers, first of all, you know, not all the drivers will be uh, compatible if you're upgrading. But uh, if you are just uh, reformat your hard drive and reinstalling uh, the same operating system, you definitely need these one of, one of these programs I'm getting ready to show you. There's multiple programs that are free that you can use to back up uh, your drivers. And these are good to have so that you won't be searching for the drivers after you have formatted the hard drive and reinstalled Windows. So um, the best thing to do is go ahead and back up your drivers first. Then you go ahead and uh, format your hard drive and reinstall Windows. Now I'm going to show you how to uh, back up your drivers. Uh, the first thing you want to do is uh, decide which program you want to use. I have several different ones, but I'm going to go through them one at a time. Okay, the first one I want to uh, show you is uh, Double Driver. Uh, Double Driver is a pretty good program. I'll have the links to these programs uh, over in the uh, description, which now with the new YouTube format, it will be under the video. Uh, <clears throat> but anyhow, uh, to let's say if you don't want to go to the link that I have, because basically it will be a direct download link. All you have to do is just go to Google and just uh, type in Double Driver and then pick on the first one. And it'll bring you to this page and then download Double Driver. And let's see. Let's see. It brings here. Let's uh, click on the first download site. There you go. And then hit Save File. I've already got done that, so I'm not going to do that. Now, uh, for these other programs, you, all you have to do is basically the same thing that I have on here. But I'll show you the rest of them here in a minute. Okay, once you do that, you'll get this right here. Now, for all the other ones, you do the same thing because they will all be in zip files. So you right click. Oh, by the way, you would need Renoir. To get Renoir, you can go to download.com and download Renoir and install it. It says it's a free trial, but uh, it works forever. I've never had a problem with it. Um, from here, you just right click and extract to file name. If you do that, you'll get this folder, open up the folder, and install the program. Uh, I'm not going to pretty much. I'm going to quickly go through the install process because it ain't really nothing to do. Just accept. Next, 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 next. Well, let's go ahead and create the desktop icon. And then launch it. That was pretty easy. Uh, that, I liked how quick that was. Okay, from here, uh, all you have to do is select scan. And it scans all the drivers on your uh, computer here. And I guess what it's doing right now is checking all the ones that are very important to, do, to back up. But if you like me, you want to make sure... Just go ahead and hit, click on select, and then you can choose whether you want to just do Microsoft or, or all non-Microsoft, or just do all. I just go ahead and do all just in case. It doesn't take up that much space anyway, so. And it doesn't take very long to back up. So I've selected all of them, and the next thing I want to do is come over here where it says backup. Now you got to pick a destination folder. Click on browse, select where you wanted to have uh, your driver backups at. So we're go, I'm going to go ahead and click desktop and then make a new folder. And I'm going to name it um, DD Driver Backup. You can name yours whatever you want. Okay, once you have that, make sure that's still highlighted. And then click OK. And then from here, you click OK. And as you can see, it's backing up all the drivers. And it ain't taking very long to do that. Okay, and it'll take very long. <laughs> I ended up pausing, pausing the video for just a second. Uh, and it was done. <laughs> uh, so uh, now that it's finished, I'll just click close. Okay, now, <clears throat> after you formatted your hard drive and then reinstall Windows, uh, the only thing you'll have to do is click on Restore. Uh, I guess you make sure all of them is checked, and then click on Restore. And that's pretty much it, uh, to back up your drivers that way. This right here will save you a lot of time. Now, uh, let's go to the next one, WinDriver Backup. And I'm sure I'm I don't have all the free ones. I'm sure there's a, a few other free uh, driver backup programs out there. This one right here, WinDriver, I got it from download.com. You can also do a Google search and download it from somewhere else if you like. And then from there, I just click on download now. And it'll also be a zip file as well. And again, with uh, WinDriver Backup, you do the exact same thing as you did the other one. Just track to and then file name. It'll give you the file. Open that. 
and just install it. These installers don't take very long. Okay, now the thing about WinDriver Backup is that it doesn't give you an icon to click on. So you just go to Start, Programs, and then look for it. It shouldn't be very hard, hard. just look for it. Just look for it. This is WinDriver Backup, and then WinDriver. Now if you want this to be a desktop shortcut, you can right click and send it to Desktop Create Shortcut. And now you have a shortcut here. Then uh, what you do here, you got to pick where you want your drivers to be downloaded. Just uh, backup drivers to this folder. I'm going to go ahead and pick the desktop again and create a new folder. Okay, and when I do that, I'm going to type in mm, win drivers. And once you do that, just click OK. And then you can pick where you want it to identify only non MS drivers or identify all drivers. Like I say, I always do all just in case. And then I click on select all, and it will select all of them. And then I will uh, click on backup drivers now or backup. And again, it didn't take long at all. And I should have all the drivers in there. Yep, all my drivers are in there. And the same thing for the other, the DD one, all the drivers are in there too. Okay, the next program I'm going to show you is uh, Chili's uh, Device Driver Backup. Again, all you have to do is type in Chili Device Driver Backup into Google and then go on the first link. And let's see, oh, and go all the way down, get Chili Device Driver Backup now, and then free download. You should get this file and uh, this one. It looks like you don't have to have a zip file for it. The only thing you have to do here, just click on the icon and it should install it. Okay, it's going to send you through a wizard. I accept. Okay, something tells me that it might not work. Oh, okay. Well, it gave me an error just now, but uh, it looks like it's actually working. Well, it supports Vista. I don't say anything about 7, but uh, if it works for Vista, Normally it works for 7 too. Okay, Chili seems to have a little bit of a problem here, but it seems to be working. But if you have XP or Vista, it should work with no problem, I guess. Maybe it's because it's Windows 7. Uh, same thing here. Uh, see, click on uh, Backup Drivers, and I guess you would put a check mark here to select all. Yep, you select all of them. And this also has a choice here make an auto, auto installer. Oh, okay. Well, I guess you would have to <laughs> have the uh, the pay for it version. But uh, see, let's back up drivers. Again, you would pick an area where you want. We're going to pick desktop and make a new folder. And we'll call this Chili. Make sure I highlight it and click OK. And it should back up all the drivers. Okay, the Chili seems to be taking a lot longer than the other ones. Maybe it's because I have Windows 7. I don't know. You can go ahead and give Chili a try and see if you like it. Uh, if you like it, you can go ahead and use it. Uh, if not, you know, it's pretty much the same thing. After you, uh, you know, after you formatted your hard drive and reinstalled Windows, just click on Restore Drivers, and you should be able to restore those drivers. I'm gonna go ahead and hit Stop because this is taking a while. Okay, that's that program. Okay, now the last thing I'm gonna tell you about is not a driver backup. Here's something for those who uh, repair computers a lot. Uh, this is called Driver Packs, and uh, let's say you go fix a computer. To so bad with viruses it won't come on or the windows have crashed in it or something like that and you have to reinstall windows on it but uh, you're not unable to back up the drivers well it'd be nice and handy if you have a cd with a bunch of drivers on them uh, or a dvd with a bunch of drivers on them so that uh, you when you go to uh, update the drivers after reinstalling windows on it uh, you can update the drivers from the cd you might get lucky and have the driver on that cd so uh, what you would do is you would go to driverpacks.net and once you're there, you'll click on the Downloads button. And you have uh, two choices here. you got the driver packs and the applications. Uh, <clears throat> you can get like the latest, but um, if you repair all kinds of different computers, you might want to go ahead and, and click on Brawl for all releases. And from there, you can download each pack. Now this right here will take some time. But um, if you do this and install them onto a CD or a disc, a DVD, um, however, whatever size uh, disc that it will take. I haven't done it yet, but I'm getting ready to do it. But um, uh, anyways, uh, that's driverpacks.net, and uh, and this is very useful for those of you who repair computers. Anyways, that's it for this tutorial. Comment, rate, subscribe. Thank you, and have a nice day.